morning. It is day four of the Eat Local Maui Challenge and I would so encourage you to check out and get inspired by all the folks who are participating in this. It's so fun to go to the Eat Local Maui um, or Project Locavore Facebook page or the Instagram page and uh, just get inspired. Um, so I'm feeling like uh, getting some sweets in today. Um, I'm gonna make for breakfast this, I have a, a really super ripe ulu and you can see when I push in there, it's really um, squishy. And so I actually, that's part of the processing is to do that all the way around and really kind of work it and that helps separate the insides from that outer seam. The next thing you want to do is to just really mash it up. Oftentimes there's little bits in it, so you want to work all those out. And it gets really nice and aerated and smooth and kind of whipped. All right, so the trick with this is to put down a pat of butter and a healthy pinch of salt. And then you don't want to go too big, but a plop of your ulu mash. And I'll show you the next steps. Just kind of leave it in place for a while. Then you'll flip it without, so after it uh, cooked without moving on that butter, I flipped it. And now I'm going to start this process of flattening it out. I don't want to get touch that sticky part, part that's still sticky, but each time I flip it, I'm gonna kind of spank it a little bit more and get it as thin, flat as possible. Okay, so our next step is I have just, each time I flip it, I am just like, just keep going. Make it as thin as possible. Even thinner than this one? Oh yeah, the thinner it is, really, the tastier it is. All right, so I've got my lunch and I ended up making a salad dressing using some avocados because I got more avocados than I can deal with. So I blended it up with some papaya that I grew. I just throw the skins and the seeds and everything in there with a bunch of citrus juice and just a touch of olive oil and some salt and use that on top of my salad with a bunch of veg. And then I had some beef that I um, cooked up and then I have my absolutely delicious, I love the, uh, <laughs> the pink onions um, that I pickled and I use that as a condiment on a lot of things. So, alrighty, lunch is served. Okay, it is just too hot outside and I am craving something fizzy. So, I am dipping into some of my elderflower champagne and I opened it up. It looks like it's definitely got some fizz. Okay, 100% local bubbly. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, it's just elder, wild elderflowers and honey and lemon juice and that's it. All right, so I've got my 120 avocado leaves that uh, Zeb strung together for homeschool today. And um, yeah, I just ended up eating a lot of leftovers for dinner and kind of been snacking throughout the afternoon, eating things that were left over from yesterday and things that were from today and just had a little bit of a sweet tooth. And so I took some of the Kiave beans that I had foraged and ground them up into flour and mixed that with macadamia nut and a little bit of honey, macadamia nut uh, butter. And yeah, I've got these uh, Aina bars, these Kiave bars, and about half of them I put uh, cacao nibs on top. So I'll put them in the fridge to really set up and then be eating them for the next couple of days.